What is so special about the woman who made George Clooney give up his bachelor life? We remember when George swore he would never get married again. It was back in 1993, when he went through a nasty divorce from actress Talia Balsam. What is more, George stated that he would never have kids, saying that he didn't have that gene that people have to replicate. And who do we see now? A husband and a father of two children. How did it happen? Before we start, subscribe to our ASA channel to get more videos about your favorite stars. Many of the hot women he dated were dreaming to drag him down the aisle. Trailer Howard, Celine Balatran, Kristen Allen, and many, many others. But his now wife, Amal Alamuddin, did not even think of getting married to George. As she revealed, I met George when I was 35 and started to become quite resigned to the idea that I was going to be a spinster. But George surprised her, and the whole world, because Amal is the special one. Unlike other women George had been with, Amal is very self-sufficient. She is not only elegant, beautiful, and smart, but she is a true leader. When George received his Lifetime Achievement Award at the Golden Globes, Tina Fey made fun of him, since Amal probably deserved the award way more than Clooney. Amal is a human rights lawyer who worked on the Enron case, was an advisor to Kofi Annan regarding Syria, and was selected for a three-person UN commission investigating rules of war violations in the Gaza Strip. So tonight, her husband is getting a Lifetime Achievement Award. And it's all true. Amal is very devoted to her work and is an inspiration to many. But it was not always the case. Amal endured an incredible journey from being a refugee girl born in Beirut to becoming the infamous Assange's lawyer. Amal was just two years old when her family fled Beirut to escape civil war and to settle in Buckinghamshire. The girl studied very hard, attending different intense schools to become who she is today. Clooney confessed to Esquire, saying, Oftentimes, I feel like an idiot talking to my own wife. Amal and Clooney met in Italy when she was 36 and he was 53. And he was the one falling head over heels. It was one of those funny things, Clooney shared with Ellen DeGeneres. From the minute we met, we just hit it off. And from the minute we met, we just sort of felt like we were going to be together. Amal was flattered by George's attention, but she did not expect that much paparazzi pressure on them. As she later said, they had to hide in her London flat to ensure privacy. But it seems that the invasion of privacy and the paparazzi made the relationship only stronger. Very soon, Amal felt like no matter what happened, she would never want to be with anyone else. Amal basically made everyone cry, including George, when she confessed her devotion. He is the person who has my complete admiration, and also the person whose smile makes me melt every time. My love, what I have found with you is the great love that I always hoped existed, she said. Only six months after coming out as a couple, George went on one knee. It was a shock for Amal, and as George revealed to Ellen, she did not even realize it was a proposal at first. She reached around, she pulls out the box, and I've got just the ring sitting in there. And she pulls it out and she looks at it and she's like, it's a ring. And she made George Clooney, I mean, George Clooney, wait 25 minutes. He was confused and carefully said that he needs an answer. I hope the answer is yes, but I, I need an answer because, you know, I'm 52 and I could... I could throw out my hip pretty soon if I didn't get an answer. <laughs> and then she said, oh, oh, yes. The couple tied the knot in a very elegant wedding with 100 guests. After four years of family life, the couple is happy, but not everything is that simple. As many others, they do have some misunderstandings. For instance, they have a sports issue. As is well known, Clooney is a big sports fan, so every weekend he must enjoy some time watching the games. For Amal, it's like torture, but she tries to share that hobby with her sweetheart. It is also pretty hard raising the one-year-old twins Ella and Alexander, as both parents are very busy with their international careers. George quipped that fatherhood had made him much older. Clooney declared that he's a mess, but Amal is like an Olympic athlete when it comes to the kids. However, the actor added with a smile that he is very good at diaper changing. After all, George admits that he has never been happier in a relationship by any stretch of the imagination. At 52, I found the love of my life and I'm really happy. And we are happy for you too, George. Thanks for watching. Check out these other great stories from Asa and subscribe for new videos about your favorite stars.